These devices have now become a familiar sight for travellers entering Singapore and who have to serve their stay-home notices outside of dedicated facilities. At Singapore's checkpoint, they will be issued this wristband, which they have to put on for the entire duration of their stay-home notice period, as well as this gateway device. When travellers return to their place of residence, they will first need to download the Stay Home at SG application. After registering their details, they will need to scan the QR code on the devices in order to activate them. Once they have activated the devices, they will need to plug in the gateway device into a wall socket as well as put on the wristband. The wristband and the gateway device communicate with each other using Bluetooth signals. The gateway device then sends these Bluetooth signals back to the ICA's back-end servers. The user's phone also sends GPS signals to the ICA's back-end servers. Should the individual leave the home, the GPS signals on the user's phone will indicate to ICA roughly where the individual is. So in the past, officers will visit those serving stay-home notices every other day. But now with the introduction of these devices, officers only need to conduct checks shortly after travellers return to Singapore. During these checks, officers will make sure they put on the devices correctly and address concerns that they might have. In the case that there is a potential violation, officers will first call individuals serving stay-home notices and if there's no response, the officers will come down and pay them a visit.